So we're going to um, continue on this video with an algebraic fractions question. So let's say we have we had 2x plus 3 over 5 minus x plus 2 over 3. Now, just like how we would solve um, those simple algebra um, fractions question and question 1a on a 6a paper, that's how we're going to solve these. So the first thing we would do, we would find the LCM. Now, the LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. And then we would say 15. We would say 5 into 15 goes 3. We would multiply the numerator by 3. So 3 times 2x plus 3. We we'll bring down the sign that separates the, the, um, the fractions. So minus. Then 3 into 15 goes 5. We would multiply this numerator by 5. So it's 5 times x plus 2. Then afterwards, we're going to apply distributive law to expand the brackets. So 3 times 2x is 6x, 3 times 3 is 9, minus 5 times x is minus 5x, minus 5 times 2 is minus 10, all over 15. Then we would collect like terms, so it's 6x <coughs> minus 5x plus 9 minus 10, all over 15. Then... We would simplify this. 6x minus 5x is 1x or x plus 10. <laughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> so we have plus 9 minus 10, which would give us negative, negative 1 all over 15. So 6x minus 5x is 1x or x and um, plus 9 minus 10 would give us negative 1 all over 15 so this would be our solution let's look at another one let's say we had let's say we had 3p plus p this 3p has a denominator as 2 this has a denominator as q now, to find the first thing we need to do is to find the LCM. Now, um, Q is a variable and it takes, it can be any number, it just, it's just representing a number. So what we could do to find the LCM for this, just multiply the denominators. So this, this LCM for this one would be 2Q. So remember, 2 into 2Q, the 2 will cancel the 2. The 2 will cancel the 2. It's like saying that we have, let's say, 1 fifth plus uh, half. Now, we know that the LCM for this is 10. We know that the LCM for this is 10. Now, one way of getting that 10, we could multiply 2 times 5. So I could write the LCM as 2 bracket 5. 5 into 10 because 2 times 5 is 10. 5 into 10 goes 2. So if you realize what happens, this 5 cancel this 5. So we're left with 2. So it would be 2 times 1, which would give us 2. Plus 2 into 10 goes 5 times. This 2 cancel this 2. So we're left with a 5. So 5 times 1 would give us 5. So for this simple fraction example, we would have 7 over 10. So the same procedure. We would apply to this question. What do we do? 2 into 2q two goes q. So we're going to multiply the q times the 3p. So 3p times q is 3pq. Plus, bring back the only sign that separates them. q into 2q, remember over here, 5 into 10 goes 5 into 10 goes 2 times, the 5 cancels the 5, so the q would cancel the q, leaves 2, so we're going to multiply this by 2, so it's 2p, this one multiply by q, that it's 3pq, so the answer would stay as this, because we don't have any like terms, this is 3pq plus 2p, we don't have any q on this, so that would be our answer, now let's look at another question, Let's say we had 3 over x plus 4 over 
x plus 1. Now, this one is a bit trickier than the one before. Now, students tend to think that x and x plus 1 is the same thing. No, they are not. If, let's say, we give x a value. Let's say if we give x a value, if x is 2, we'll be have, we would have what, 3 over 2 plus 4 over 2 plus 1. So if you realize 2 plus 1 is 3, so we would have two different denominators. So we cannot say the LCM is x plus 1. That's the first thing. And we cannot say the LCM is x. Because on this side, if you look, we have 3 over 2 plus 4 over 3. So we cannot say the LCM is x and we cannot say the LCM is x plus 1. But by itself like that. So what we would have to do, LCM for 2 and 3 is 6. How do we get a 6? We multiply them. Or we could find multiples of 2, multiples of 3. And the lowest one would be the lowest that is common between the multiples, which would be the LCM. Now, we cannot really find multiples for these. So what we could do, we could just multiply them to find the LCM. Now, now when we multiply them, we would multiply x times x plus 1. So it would be x, open bracket, x plus 1. Now, we could expand the brackets at the bottom, but it's simpler to work it like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say x into the LCM. Remember, the x is going to cancel the x. So what's left? x plus 1. So it's 3 times x plus 1. Remember, bracket means to multiply. Then we're going to say x plus 1 into the LCM. x plus 1 is going to cancel the x plus 1. Leave us with x. So it's 4 times x. So down here, I would write 3 times x plus 1 plus 4 times x. We would expand the brackets. So it's 3x plus 3 plus 4x all over x bracket x plus 1. Then we would collect like terms. So it would be 3x plus 4x plus 3 over x times x plus 1. Then we would have we would just have to um, simplify these. So 3x plus 4x is 7x plus 3 all over x bracket x plus 1. So close bracket. So 3x plus 4x is 7x plus the 3 over x times x plus 1. We could expand the brackets but just leave it as that and move on to the next question. So I'm going to solve another question based on this. Let's say we had 2 over x minus 1 minus 3 over x plus 1. Now, as I said, there are two different numbers. This is a variable. This is another variable. They're representing two separate numbers. So, what we do to find the LCM? We just multiply the denominators. So, it's x plus <coughs> x minus 1 times x plus 1. Now remember, x minus 1 into the LCM, x minus 1 is going to cancel x minus 1, so we're left with x plus 1. So we we'll just multiply the numerator by x plus 1. So it's 2 times x plus 1, bring, bring back the minus sign, then x plus 1 into the LCM goes x minus 1. So x minus plus 1 cancel x plus 1. We're left with x minus 1. So it would be 3 times x minus 1. So we'll use distributive law to expand these brackets. So 2 times x is 2x plus 2 times 1 is 2 minus 3 times x is minus 3x and minus 3 times minus 1 is positive 3. Ah, leave off the x here. Over x minus 1 x plus 1. Would collect like terms and simplify. So we would have 2x minus 3x plus 2 plus 3 all over x minus 1 x plus 1. So we would collect like terms. That's what we did. 
then we're going to simplify now. So 2x minus 3x is minus x or minus 1x. So realize the negative number is bigger than the positive number. So we keep the sign of the bigger number. Plus 5 all over x minus 1 times x plus 1. This would be our answer.